Can you find Garfield in the video? And remember, please enjoy the Father's Day special. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for a special presentation after the movie. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. I'll be there for you. 
to bring a happy feeling. I'll be there for you. Everything's so much better when you're near. We love you every day and week and month and every year. I'll be there for you to guide you along. I'll be there for you to help you grow big and strong. I'll be there for you because your dad loves you. Could there be anything better than being a dad? Someone loves you, Daddy. I love you too. To all of you fathers, this is Microsoft Sven. Today is Father's Day. And you know what that means. We are taking a look for the top 10 fictional fathers. So get ready for your favorite dads. Just remember, if you get 9 or 10, you get a reward for this video in Christian's channel. If you don't get all 10, there will be no reward for you. So, you ready Larry? Yes Microsoft Sam. Here we go. Hi, I'm Montana Sun. I am narrating the top 10 fictional fathers as well. Well, I have a busy sunny day. Starting off with number 10. Isn't it handsome? So, Dexter's dad is a character from Dexter's laboratory. Isn't it funny? So, you may pass. Good for you, my old father. Here's a sunny patch sticker for you. Number 9 is Mayor Stinkwell. That's one good old stink. So, Mayor Stinkwell is Pebble Dash's father. So, anyways, you may pass. Great job, Mayor Stinkwell. Number 8 is Bob Omeo. And did you know that Bob Omeo is sounded like Mr. Rabbin from Arthur? Well, anyways, Bob Omeo is Sagwa's good father. So, you may pass. Now that's what I called it a good luck cap. Number 7 is Sid and Sam Squirrel. Oh, two squirrel dads? So anyways, Sid and Sam are the fathers of Sally Squirrel. And you know what? You two are now past. Excellent work. So anyways, number 6 is Ernest Otter. Cool. So, Ernest Otter is Peanut and Jelly's father. So, watch this clip and see. My papa read me this book when I was little. And you know what he did? He took me on a camping trip so I could see what it was like to live the simple, natural life in the great outdoors. Hi! Um, Dad? Yeah, Peanut? Do you think we can go camping? Well, I guess we could sometime. Like maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow? You mean it? Oh, your daddy loves surprising you kids. He's been planning his camping trip for a week. Now, so Ernest is voiced by Chris Phillips like Cliff Andrew from Between the Lines and Nick Junior Face. So, you may pass. Number 5 is Peach Dad. Another father cat. So anyways, Peach Cat is a character from the DVD show called Pete the Cat. So, you may pass. It's perfect way to play. Number 4 is Shin Mal. So anyways, Shin is Mal's dad. So, you are officially passed. Another good luck cat. So, here's your money.
Microsoft Sam, this is Montana Sun speaking again, so, number three is Walter Raccoon, so anyways, Walter Raccoon is Scooch's father, and you know what, he's handsome, so, you may pass, Microsoft Sam, back to you. Number two is Stu Pickles. So, Stu Pickles is Tommy Pickles' dad. So, watch this clip. This, watch. I am Reptar, hear me roar. I am Reptar, hear me roar. <laughs> Prime flabbit, can a man work in his own basement without getting barbecued? That was so hot. So, you may ask. Good job, Stu. You deserve this. Honorable mentions. Okay, it's time for honorable mentions. We have Bandit Healer. So, Bandit is Blue Eyes' father. So, you may pass. Roger Baxter from the Littlest Pet Shot 2012 series. So, why kinda love this dad? So, you may pass. Walter Cobbs from Elf 2003 movie. But seriously, it's not even Christmas yet. And it's not even Winter Solstice yet too. So, watch this clip. Dad? 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 <coughs> Walter, you are a good father. So, you may pass. Darth Vader. So, Darth Vader is Luke's father. And seriously, oh, Darth Vader is a bad guy. So, you may pass. So remember, I am your father. Earl Sinclair from Jim Henson's Dinosaurs. So, this dad is dynamite. So, you may pass this dinosaur dad. And finally, Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed, also known as David Reed, is Arthur and D.W.'s father. So, Mr. Reed is now passed. And now, time for the number one pick. Okay, last round. Number one is Jerry Ferguson. So, Jerry is Russell's dad. And he is a character from The Littlest Pet Shot 2012 TV show. So, you may pass. Excellent work, my good man. Okay. Let's check our score. Wow. 10 out of 10 dads? That's great. Larry, tell Christian what he won. Okay. Christian, your reward is, you need to make a unboxing video for Father's Day. Thank you, Christian. Well, anyways, thanks for watching the top 10 fictional fathers. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. So, this is Microsoft Sam Zang, signing off. Goodbye everyone. Oh, and happy Father's Day 2020 to everyone.
take my sentence! Wait, I actually meant quote. <laughs> And now, the special presentation.
dinner tonight? I was thinking we could have spaghetti and meatballs. A bunch of meatballs. More meatballs than spaghetti. Mario, you know I'm vegan. Since when? We should have some avocado toast. Or we could have tofu or tofurkey. Have you ever had tofurkey? It's so good. We could have a salad, but with romaine lettuce, not iceberg lettuce. I hate iceberg lettuce. It sucks the Titanic. Oh, no, Daddy. My stomach hurts. I think I need to use the bathroom. Chevy, that's so disgusting. Hold on, Daddy, one more. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, where's the other whoopee cushion? There isn't another whoopee cushion, Mario. That was real. I'm just going to bounce in it, Daddy. Jeffy, why are you so stupid? Mario, you can't talk to people that way. Well, he's being stupid. I think he needs to know he's being stupid. Mario, that is not Hey, That is your child. Well, he, he's not a normal person. I want him to act like a normal person. Mario, you're a bad father. Oh, I'm a bad father? Yes, you're a bad father. Okay, so you want to fight? Yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to fight? Okay, let me get the controllers. I'll get the controllers. We're going to fight. Fine. <laughs> you think I like hitting you? <laughs> you hit like a girl, Mario. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? <laughs> You're trash at this game. <laughs> oh, I hate it when Mommy and Daddy fight. I need to do something. <laughs> you know, I think it's cheating that you get that stupid star that gets to help you. Don't blame the game, because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's at the door? Well, hold on. I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to go answer the door. Don't unpause it. Okay, Mario. I won't. <laughs> uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, I got a call from a child, like a like a really scared child who said that his parents were fighting, so I'm going to go ahead and come in. Well, what are you talking about? We're not fighting. Uh, baby, baby, tell the cop we're not fighting. Oh, no, no, no. We're not fighting. We're just smashing. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm sorry for interrupting that. Well, no, no, no. We're not smashing either. I wish we were doing that. We're, we're playing video games, you know, Super Smash Bros. Wait a minute. I had three lives before I left. Now I only have one. That means you unpause the game. No, Mario, I wouldn't do that. Yes, you would, because you suck at the game and you have to cheat to win. What? No! I yeah, yeah, you unpause it. it. That's why you cheated, because you have to unpause the game. This is starting to kind of sound like fighting to me. No, 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 it's not fighting. We're just arguing over a video game. It's just a stupid argument. Okay, well, we got a call about some fighting going on. No, no fighting, just arguing, you know, that's it. Oh, good. Well, if you want to see a real couple fight, you should head over to my house. It's like WWE over there. It gets crazy. If my wife even slightly burns dinner, I put her in a headlock and pile drive it through a table. Yeah, I got a storage unit full of tables, because she burns dinner a lot. Anyway, I don't want to get another call making me come over here, so I'll see you later. Except I don't want to see you later, because I don't want to come back here. Mario, we probably shouldn't fight in front of Jeffy anymore. He's very impressionable at this age. Is this the part where you guys go, oh, 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 uh, hello? Mario, let me in. W what's going on? This is heavy. Let me in right now. Oh, uh, come on, come on. Oh, uh, solid gold bars are so heavy. How much is all this gold worth? Well, Mario, the small gold bars are worth a million dollars each, and the big gold bar is worth five million dollars. Why do you have eight million dollars worth of gold with you? Because I'm trying to hide it from the IRS, Mario. Why? Because they're trying to take 37% of my gold, and that comes out to be two million nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars and the thought of that just makes me want to rip my kneecaps off this is my money and no one gets to touch my money except for me well then, then why do you have your gold here because i'm trying to hide it mario because the irs is going to be raiding my house and they're not going to find a single penny why because it's going to be at your poor house uh, okay so how long do you want it here for well mario just until the raid's over okay so i'll be back when everything cools down don't you touch my money uh, okay, okay I, I won't i won't touch it that's a lot of money, Mario. Uh, I, I know, I know. I mean, I, I could sell that and get a million dollars, like, right now. Mario, we can't do that. I mean, think about it, baby. That's eight million dollars. He's a billionaire. He's not going to notice that, like, one million dollars goes missing. Mario, but that's stealing and it's dishonest. But it's a million dollars right in the palm of my hands. I can have it right now. We can't do that. No, Mario. <sighs> so what do we do then? Let's just sit here and be poor. That's dumb. I mean, I can have a million dollars. Mario, money isn't everything. Baby, how about you uh, go and uh, make me a cup of tea? Oh, okay, Mario. Yeah, take a long time, please. Oh, my God. Just a million dollars. Oh, a million dollars. Uh, hey there. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'd like to sell this bar of gold, and I don't want to be traced. I don't want anyone to know where it came from. Well, you came to the right place, then. Where'd you get it? Oh, uh, my, uh, my grandmother was a pirate. Oh, cool. Pirate gold. I like it. So how much you want for it? I was thinking about getting a million dollars. 
Yeah, I can't do a million. I can only do half a million dollars. B -b -b but it's worth a million. Yeah, sorry, but I got a lot of work I gotta do with this thing. I gotta melt it down and turn it into Chuck E. Cheese tokens, and that's not cheap. Well, is there anywhere else I can take it where I can get a million dollars for it? I mean, you can try to take it to a normal place and then tell them where you really got it, but I wouldn't recommend that. You know what? Fine. Give me the half a million. I just, I just want the money. All right, let me start getting your money. Ugh. Oh, man, here it is. Yeah. Okay, Mario, I got your tea. Mario? What's up, baby? Mario, is that you? What it look like? <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? Dressed like what? Good? No, like that. Uh, it's called Gucci, baby. Gucci? No, no Gucci. Je Jeffy, tell what I got. Mommy, Daddy got that drip. Oh, no. Do you have a runny nose? I'll go get you a tissue. No, no, no. no, no Jeffy, explain what the drip means. Mommy, Daddy got that paper. Like cash, cash, green, cash, green. Like a tree. Mm. What? Baby, I'm paid. I got cash. I'm rich AF. I got that monies. Where did it all come from? Well, uh, uh, the bank. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mario, the bank. you didn't sell one of those bricks, did you? We building houses, Mommy. Uh, Jeffy, shut up. No. Aren't there's three of those gold bricks over there. We're supposed to have eight million dollars. But baby, 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 there's, there's eight million. I didn't sell a gold brick. Look, the, the big one's worth six million, and the the two small ones are worth one million. That's eight million. Oh, yeah, he explained okay. it. To, yeah, he explained okay. it to us. Yeah. Well, where did all the money come from? Uh, well, uh, my uh, my, my grandfather just died. I inherited this money. He, yeah, he was a pirate. Yeah, he, he's a pirate. Oh, Mario, I'm so sorry for your loss. No, it's good. I'm over it. Like the, the, the inheritance made me get over it pretty quick. But yeah, we got we got cash. Cash, baby, we got money. Okay, well, what are you gonna spend it on? You, baby, I wanna spoil my baby. Jeffy, sh Je Jeffy, show what I bought her. All right, Daddy. Here you go, Daddy. There's a jacket. All right, baby, look what I bought you. It cost me three grand. Mario, is that real fur? Uh huh. It's made out of baby leopards. Mario, I don't want that. Wh why not? They torture those animals. What? Well, I mean, he's already been turned into a jacket. The least you could do is wear him. Mario, I'm not wearing that jacket. Look, if I return it to the store, they're not going to put the fur back on the animal. No! <sighs> Jenny, take it away. All right, now. Hey, get her the other jacket. All right, Maybe you'll like this one. This one's made out of zebras and uh, baby pandas. Mario, I'm not wearing that jacket. That's two different continents. They had to do a lot of traveling to make that jacket. I don't care, Mario. No way am I wearing that jacket. <sighs> Jenny, take it away. G get the glasses. All right. Then. Maybe you'll like these glasses. Oh, those are cute. Uh-huh. Try them on. Tell me if you like them. Oh, I like these, Mario. Oh, my baby loves them. They're made out of baby penguin spots. What? I don't want those. But, 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 but they're expensive. Mario, I'm not wearing any of these things. All right, baby, calm down. Let's just go out to eat. Let's eat some veal, some caviar, and some Wagyu beef. Mario, I'm vegan. I thought you were just doing that because we were poor. No, Mario, I don't believe in harming animals. Uh, okay, well, look, look here, here, baby, look. Take this 10 grand and go buy a cow. Mario, I don't want any of this stuff, and I don't want anything to do with you until you put them away and take them back. All right, here's about another 10 grand to get over it. Goodbye, Mario. But, but baby, but baby, we got cash. <sighs> Jeffy, I, I think Rosalina just left me. Well, Daddy, with 20 grand, you could just buy yourself another girlfriend. Oh, my gosh, you're so amazing and so rich and so hot. Uh huh. that's right, baby. Keep gassing me up. I love you. Uh-huh, until the money stops. Hit. Yeah. Daddy, new mommy's hot. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. Yeah. What's her name, Daddy? Uh, well, her name's whatever I wanted to be. Hit. Yeah. Well, can I call her Chicken Nugget? Um, okay. But Chicken Nugget, why would you call her Chicken Nugget? I don't want to. Uh, all right, Chicken Nugget, what do you want? Throw money on me. Jeffy, you heard her. Throw 10 grand on her. Right, Send it. Ah. <laughs> Jeffy! You just knocked her out, Jeffy! Good, she was annoying! Uh, Jeffy! Okay, well, look, well, until she wakes up, you wanna go see Daddy's new toy? Sure, Daddy, let's send it. Yeah, let's go see that new toy. Hey. All right, Jeffy, check out Daddy's new toy. Daddy, you got that lamp? <laughs> yeah, I got that guinea. I got that guinea and I didn't have to rub a lamp. Daddy, it's cloudy outside with a 100% chance of drip. Yeah, it's dripping, it's dripping. That cash, that cash flow. No more coming last place in Mario Kart. Daddy, paper! Cash, cash, green cash, paper! Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it is. That's the name of the game, cash. Daddy got that lamp? <laughs> All right, Jeffy, anything you want, Daddy will buy it, because Daddy got money like that. Oh, um, Daddy, why is Chicken Nugget not waking up? Who? Oh, yeah, Chicken Nugget. Uh, she has a concussion. She'll probably wake up in, like, 15 minutes. Oh, well, do I need to give her CPR? Uh, no, look, if she doesn't wake up, we'll just buy another one. <laughs> Who's at the door? Oh, it's probably Rosalina going to beg for me back because she knows I'm rich. <laughs> I knew you couldn't resist me, baby, all this cash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know I was at what? Casey Neistat's house. Uh, Goodman, uh, what are you doing here? Are those bowling shoes? 
Uh, uh, n no, these are these are Yeezy Red Octobers. Well, it's December, so you should take them off. Uh, well, what are you doing here? Well, Mario, the IRS raid is over, and they didn't find anything, so I came back to get my gold bars. Well, you, you, you still you still want those things? Yes, Mario. It's eight million dollars. I need them. Uh, uh, okay, well, they're still where you left them. <laughs> Good, I'm coming in to get them. Well, give, give me a second. Well, give me a second. All right, wait, wait, wait. Look, look, look. Here's all your gold right where you left it. You happy? One, two, three. Mm. Mario, there were four gold bars right here. No, 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 no. There's only three gold bars. No, Mario. There were four worth eight million dollars. It's still worth eight million dollars. Look, the big ones worth six million, and these two small ones are worth a million each. No, Mario. There were three small ones, all worth a million each, and the big one was worth five million dollars. But if you want to give me six million dollars for the big one, I'll take it. Well, no, no, no. Look, look, you're just so rich, and you have so much money that you just lost track of it. No, Mario. I always keep track of my money. And where'd you get this cash? Uh, oh, uh, my, my, my grandfather died. Uh, he was a parrot. I mean, a, a pirate. Well, Polly won a cracker. And if I was a parrot, I would say Polly won my gold bar back. Well, look, look, all your gold is right here, right where you left it. No, it's not, Mario. And who's that? Oh, my head hurts. Oh, uh, that, that's just my girlfriend. I'm not your girlfriend. <laughs> look, here's $10,000. Oh, my God, I'm your girlfriend. I love you. Yeah, all that. Mario, I know you took my gold bar, and I want you to get it back. And in the meantime, I'm taking this. What? Oh, you're not rich anymore? Uh, no. Ew, bye. But I thought we cared about each other. <sighs> Mario, listen. You have one hour to get me my gold bar back, and if I don't have it back in one hour, I'm going to take your house, I'm going to take your hat, that, that, that hat, and I'm going to take your bowling shoes. What? Because I need new bowling shoes for my bowling alley, and I'm going to call the cops. Well, you can't call the cops. You're trying to hide the money from the IRS. Who are they going to believe? A billionaire or a greedy little thief like you? Okay, look, I'll, I'll get the gold bar back, okay? Just, just stay right here. Don't you ever blackmail me again. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back. Well, did you want to sell me something else or what? No, no, I was, I was actually wondering if I could get that gold bar back. Oh, this gold bar? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm going to need all that money back. Well, all the money? Yeah. Uh oh, so, so I'm going to have to sell all my drip? Yeah, you're going to have to sell your drip. But, but I, I like having all these nice expensive things. Well, what do you like more, your drip or the gold bar? <sighs> okay, I'll sell all my drip. <sighs> all right, look, I got your gold bar back. Hey. What, what are the cops doing here? Well, I didn't think you'd actually get it done, so I had them sitting here waiting. You know, I said I didn't want to come back here, and look where I am, back here. Well, well look, I, I did everything good. You did everything good. Well, gold star for you, buddy. Well, did he steal your million dollars or not? No, he did everything good. Well, in that case, I'm gonna leave. Well, look, you have all your gold back, everything's back to normal. Yep, and don't you ever try to do anything like that again, Mario. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Get your stuff and leave. <sighs> I lost everything. Hey, Mario. Don't look at me, I lost all my money. You did? Oh, I'm so happy! But, but, but I don't have all my drip or my chains or, or my Gucci. Mario, I'm so glad things are back to normal. There are more important things than money like each other yeah, whatever hey danny before he left i took one of his gold bars <laughs> fruit lovers today origin pair are back with another fruitacular episode of how to this week amber w wants to know how to deal with parents i get it amber some days your dad makes you mad and your mom's not the bomb <laughs> but on days like that it's important to deal with your frustrations in a healthy way right Take me, for example. Whenever my parents are getting me down, I like to take my frustrations out through my music. Your music? Yep. Specifically, my 90s-style rap music. What? Kick it! What, what are you doing right now? Kick it freestyle! I was like some TNT yesterday, and my mom said, orange, go out and play. Get yourself some fresh air. And I said, man, there's no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. Chicky, chicky. Okay, uh, well, it seems like your mom has a really good point, Orange. What do you mean? I mean, you were messing around with TNT and she suggested you stop. Seems like good parenting to me. Man, there's no need to argue, pal. You just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever, dude. Now, something I like to keep in mind is this. Even when your parents are getting on your nerves, you should always be thankful. Because remember, some kids aren't lucky enough to have parents. That's right. Some kids were raised by wolves. That's not what I mean. As a matter of fact, I wrote a rap about that very thing. Please don't. Kick it. Chilling in my room with TNT, but no parent comes in to bother me. That's because I don't have one watching over me. No need to argue. Parents sometimes are coyotes. Yeah. Ugh, where to begin with that? So many questions. Like what? Like you know that wolves and coyotes are two different types of animal, right? Sure don't. 
<laughs> Great. Can we get back to the point of this video now? Right. I believe we were talking about TNT. The crap we were. We are not talking about TNT. Well, we are now. And now I'm rapping about it. Orange, <laughs> do not. Kick it. One day I was lucky. About some TNT.